All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode three of our PSR podcast season two. Um, with me today, I'm Iron. And with me today, I've got uh, Etiquette. Hello. Uh, Jordan. Hello. Skoa. Hi. And we have one of our guests live with us. We have another one who has a uh, will be playing his contribution, but uh, we've got five up uh, uh, as well. Hey, I hope I can hear. Yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. All right. Let's just make sure I've got my notes all set up. Or the notes all set up here. So we've got quite a lot of uh, runs to talk about this week. Bear with me here. One second. Yeah. So actually, the first thing we want to talk about is in the last month we had a new game released to the um it's not a ma technically a uh a f main series game but new official pokemon game added uh, which is new pokemon snap so if anyone's played that it's a lot of fun and we've had quite a lot of runs so far um on the leaderboard 22 it looks like um so that's really great we have our top time here gun lap 235 and uh Lots of times getting in around the 235, 237 range. So we'll see how much lower that'll go. We also have a all Pokemon category as well, um, in addition to the any percent category, uh, which is uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, yes, we will be talking about that pass as well, Ty Kevin, uh, a little bit later. Okay, uh, yeah, let's move on to uh, talking about Gen One. And one to three first. So first, uh, we'll talk about we got a couple Japanese world records to talk about here in Gen one to three. The first one is uh, Dotepix uh, blue any percent Japanese world record in one forty nine eleven. And uh, this run, as you can tell by the splits, pretty clean. Um, did uh, got quite good luck and RNG throughout, but did make a few small mistakes towards the end. Um, he forgot candy before Agatha. Got through that fine, and then candy before Lance, and then right as he started Lance, he realized that he forgot to elixir. So let's uh, let's see what happened here. So yeah, he needed a Hydra miss, which he got. So then he just elixired on the next turn, and uh, got a second Hydra miss by the looks of things. So um, yeah, pretty good run overall. By uh, by Tepic. Moving on, uh, we have another Japanese record, this one by Ringo, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, any percent. Uh, this is the first Fire Red Leaf Green sub 2, 159.52. Uh, it's common consensus that English probably won't go below two hours, but this is the first time Japanese has gotten under two hours. A uh, pretty good run, um, pretty slow start. So there's a little bit of improvements to come there in the early game, but uh, made up quite a bit of time towards the end. Uh, we're highlighting the uh, the Lorelei fight because this is everybody's favorite fight. Uh, this is particularly notable because in Japanese, you have to X speed on this fight. Uh, in addition to the 4X specials, you have to set up on Dugong, so you do take a little bit more damage. And in this case, he did get a little bit unlucky. Um, took quite a bit of damage, but healed on Slowbro, so he got through that no problem. And uh, the reason why uh, you have to X speed here is because the... I don't believe it's... Maybe it's all of the trainer pokes, but um, certainly many of them will have different natures. Uh, and so, as a result, um, certain things you'd outspeed in English, you wouldn't necessarily outspeed here. So in this particular case, the Jinx is the, what you're trying to outspeed with the X speed. Uh, in English, it's a sassy jinx, minus speed. And in this, I don't know exactly what its nature is, but it's not minus speed. So you don't outspeed. But uh, yeah, came in, got a nice little PB there. I guess we'll move on to, this is uh, Gen 4. All right. Skoa. So the one and only run from any of the DS games is Dexy's Platinum Glitchless record in Japanese. Um... So this is the first Japanese record to be taken with the Chimchar route, which um, Crafted popularized a few months ago. Um, overall, uh, Dexy isn't very happy with this run because he hit two optionals, one of which you just saw in Lake Valor. The other one was the 
was an optional swimmer just before Victory Road, which has a Gyarados. Uh, obviously not great for Chimchar. Um, but outside of the two optionals, um, pretty solid run. You'll see at the bottom of Dexy splits, he has the Fecal Leaf Sushi counter, which is for how many times he misses a move like Fire Blast or Tackle or whatever. Um, that's just like a mistranslation from Japanese to uh, English. It was, it's supposed to say garbage attack miss, just for anyone that doesn't know. Um, and when asking Dexy about this, the one thing he really emphasized that he wanted me to say was Chimchar is faster than Piffluff. So Dexy's um, fairly seated in the uh, Chimchar is better path, which, um, if you didn't know, the two routes are very, very competitive at the moment. But um, in coming months, that is something I'm looking to change with developments to Piffluff. But yeah, uh, outside of the two optionals, very, very good run for Dexy. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the 3DS runs. So, etiquette. Um, yeah, so the, the first run here, this is Wartab's Pokemon X. Um, new second place um, with a 341.58. Um, this run had a really, really, really good Halucha. Like, looking at the bottom there, you can see it's, uh, you know, naughty nature with, you know, really good attack, uh, decent speed, all that kind of stuff. Um the actual halucha time wasn't amazing uh which is partly why you know you can see the red splits there um the other sort of heartbreaking piece of this one was uh he actually got a sky encounter in victory road that costs about 16 or 17 seconds um and if you if you look at the final time and know what the x record is he's only 16 seconds off or 14 seconds off so um you know without that encounter we would have had a new a new X record, but um, still a really solid run. Uh, he's putting in a lot of work right now. One of the things that he realized, um, and if you look at this run, you can actually see as you like see all of his splits, is um, he recently found out that his new 3DS, uh, which is what he's been doing runs on, um, has homebrew, which he knew, but didn't realize that just having homebrew seems to be a source of a little bit of time loss, um, some inflated loads. Even though you're not using the homebrew for anything, just having it on the console seems to add to the load times. So uh, he had a ton of gold splits in this run um, and has basically been improving his sum of best really since he figured that out. So, um, you know, definitely we'll probably be talking about another war tab run in the XY uh, next month. So <laughs> pretty exciting. Um, and for this one, I'm going to let our special guest talk about it. This is the... Uh, yeah, this yeah, is uh, my run, I guess, the uh, Alpha Sapphire that we uh, that I got last month. Or is it two, three weeks now? Uh, so uh, away from the looks of it. Yeah, it was a pretty great run for the most part. I mean, the start was a little bit slow, but... Uh, the uh, Latias and Kyogre section were pretty clean, and right there I just 50 50 a speed tie against that uh, that Pokemon, Glalie. And that Pokemon can use a lot of bad moves, like Light Screen and Hail, which would destroy your setup completely, because you need rain. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, <laughs> this is the scariest fight in the run, and uh, some craziness is about to happen even right now with uh, this Wall Rain. Because it ends up critting me with Body Slam. Oh, so tough. But yeah, finally got through and got the uh, 305 and beat IMAX's 306 run from like six years ago. Pretty yeah. huge. As it's actually like, I guess it'll be the first time in six years since the actual world record was on top of PSR. On the top of the leaderboard. Was that the longest standing record? And at that point yeah yeah it was from april of 2014 so it was Oof. or not 2014 2015 sorry um and i think currently the longest standing record is like heart gold soul silver any percent which is from like 2018 so it's three years longer than that um wow. yeah this shows, this time is incredible <laughs> yeah it shows how great it ruined both the previous world record and now this is 
Yeah, he actually ended up killing Rival 5 in his run because the run is so old and, you know, strats are so outdated. And <laughs> it's pretty crazy it took this long to get beat. But honestly, the run was pretty damn good. His run and this run, I got like a crit on Match Sharpedo, which is insane with the Latias. Uh, it's the best crit you can get in the game. And uh, yeah, that made like a world of difference for the run. Like, do you think this is your like the best run you've done so far, just in general, like compared to like because you've done quite a few of the runs like last podcast. I don't remember what world record you broke, but I'm pretty sure you broke another one. Was it maybe Omega Ruby? Uh, yeah, I did Omega Ruby last month or something, and that one had a lot of small mistakes. This one was fairly clean for the most part. That's the thing I like about this run. Like the beginning is nothing to like brag about, but as far as like movement and everything like it was fairly clean so i'm very satisfied with this one there you go say well like well done with this though well done thank you thank you all right um next up we're moving into the the land of the switch uh this here is uh jim freaks uh, let's go Eevee, any percent third place, uh, high 302 time. Um, what you're seeing here is something that normally we don't go for, um, but I think they actually just accidentally ran into this Clefable. Uh, and this this gave them really good experience for the early game. Um, experience is really nice, in addition to getting, you know, an extra catch, because uh, we need to get 50 Pokemon over the course of the run. Um but yeah, this this one was really solid. It's um had an amazing Route 10. Uh, so Route 10 is typically where runs transition from catching things to get like a higher level into catching things for your catch count. Um, and basically the first four things they saw on Route 10 were the four things you need to catch. So it was really good. Um, and that's yeah. just before Rock uh, Tunnel, right? Yeah, just before Rock Tunnel, yeah. um, that set of grass. You want to get like both Nidorans, Aspiro, Rattata, and then Krabby if you see it. Um, and they got, I think it was Spiro, Nidoran, Nidoran, and Rattata, basically without leaving the left side of the grass. <laughs> like it was very fast. So, um, also the late game was really good. Um, had a three turn Archer Double fight. Archer Double is a fight that. Uh, Traditionally isn't there aren't a lot of like difficult fights that you're going to die to in Let's Go in, until like the very, very end of the run. Uh, but Archer Double is the fight that you can lose easily the most time. Um it's a it's a double fight where it's sort of like the true double in Emerald, for example, where you're you're only controlling one um of the Pokemon in the fight and your rival is the your doubles partner. So you have to you really have to rely on them to be smart. Um and the AI on the other side of the field can also, you know, mess things up and delay it a lot. So uh, getting a three turn fight there is rare, but really, really, really fast. <laughs> um, and then next run is also another Let's Go Eevee run. This is second place by Saiyan Sync. Uh, this was... 302.14, so this is now uh, six seconds off of the current record. Um, and this this run is, in my opinion, better than the record. Um, the record had a lot of luck in the mid game that isn't really realistic to ever even hope for, uh, let alone count on. So um, this run overall was really solid. Uh, we're here in Rock Tunnel, leaving Rock Tunnel. Um, Saiyan had, I think it was 30 Pokemon with like a 113.30 exit, which is ridiculously fast. It's like two minutes ahead of the other 30, like the 302.08 record. So um, very, very, very good start. And then, um, you know, it looks like good catches all around. I don't know much about the end game here, um, but I know that the start is very good. Um, let's go the podcast. There's a lot of let's go this month. There's a lot of let's go this month, and there's a reason. Um, but yeah, so this is um, 
Let's Go Pikachu All Obtainable Pokemon, new world record by Joker Sleeps. Uh, this is the first sub 520. Um, I think they had a run recently that was like a 520, yeah, 521, um, looking at the splits, and could have been a 520 with a little bit better luck in the, you know, near the end. But this run here was really solid all around. Um, the, the only real major hiccup was, as you can see in the splits, getting a Scyther. Scyther's a 1% spawn, so you... Um, and it's Pinsir and Let's Go Eevee. So you just sort of need to get some good luck to to hope it spawns. This one looks like it took a very long time to spawn, but the rest of the run was really, really good. Um, I think it was second try fossil in Cerulean Cave. Um, and the only other mistake here... Um, Scyther wasn't really a mistake, but the only the only real mistake in this run was that um, ended up doing a little bit of grinding at the very end in um, in Seafoam Islands to try and give some Pokemon some extra levels just because didn't have enough candies. Um, then once he went to candy things, realized he did have enough candies. So uh, it ended up, you know, being a little bit of a time waste for for really no reason. But uh, ended up being the sub 520 anyways and it wouldn't have been a sub 510 which i think is sort of the next goal um so it's really not not too big of a deal but also the fact in victory road there was it was like him on chan and him on lee got both of them there yeah that was the other thing is getting him on chan and him on lee meant didn't have to do like the five dojo fights to get um one or the other so that was really good I, I forgot like, about that. It was like him on Lee was like the one that was just as he was about to exit, it was there. So it was yeah. Very, like it was really convenient how it was placed. All right. Um, and to finish off, well, to finish off main series switch, I should say, uh, cause looking at the next run, it's also on the switch. Uh, we have Pokemon shield, any percent with DLC, uh, 40251 by, uh, GL Phoenix. Um, don't know much about this run, um, but Mamoswine is a very good Pokemon to get from the DLC. Um, it's got, it's got Earthquake, um, which is, uh, you know, it's a spread move, which is sort of one of the things that you're really looking for in a DLC Pokemon. Um, and overall really solid run. Uh, 402 is a, a fantastic time. Um, I think that is faster than every other dlc run including sword except for whom's like 358 so uh definitely yeah you can see the their personal best in sword if you look at the bottom was a 40306 so uh getting this time in shield is really good so moving on to snap and we actually have an interview, uh, well, we have a pre-recorded interview with uh, CC Neverender, which was fun. It was, it was fun because I've I'd never talked to CC before. Like, I've never, like, I don't think he had any idea who I was really. So I came and approached him. But he was kind enough to, <laughs> like, he was kind enough to at least talk about the run and all this in general. So I'll just let everyone sit back and listen to this for like, the next 16 minutes because it it was a long interview. There's a lot of stuff that was going in depth with uh, the like just with the fact that it's a new run starting up. So enjoy. But yeah, I assume it's uh been a lot busier over this past month month or so, especially with the new uh, new snap coming out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah May's been crazy. Yeah, like how is like because yeah, I I know you've done attempts of it. Like how has it been for you so far? Uh, at first, so it's really interesting at first. Uh, there was, it was just so new and everything, you know, it, it was just, we didn't have any idea what we were doing. And so it was a, just a scramble to sort of understand what was going on and how to do it fast and how to get stuff done. So um, it was a lot of fun at first. Now that we've kind of gone through cut, trimmed the fat, I think the term is, um, yeah. it's a, a lot of it's like, okay, now we're getting into like the real nitty gritty and now it's getting pretty tough. So. Yeah, because the well, you have a two thirty seven forty five, right? I think it's fourth on the board, something unless like something's secrets popular. I know Gunlab got a world record, like I think half 
after I asked you about setting this up. So yeah, you got one things, a couple days ago. Yeah, so like things that are actively happening. I guess with it being a new game, mod runs was it the was it the ninth of May you started accepting runs on the board? Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah, that's like yeah, and you've, as you said, like still the part of it probably past the honeymoon period as well for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, um, like Quo was he's like the one of the uh, big names from the first game, especially and yeah. just a figurehead of the community. He um he did a couple of runs, got to about a two hour fifty minute time, and then he was like, I I think I'm good. So uh, yeah, like I said, like once you get past the honeymoon period of like now we got into like the real the real speed run, it's like oh, okay, see this is uh it's pretty frustrating and so at times so. Yeah, is is there anything you're not particularly enjoying with that play? Uh, with it so or at this point, I guess. Uh, yeah. So I think the things that bother me the most are, um, it's really punishing. Uh, in that, like, if you miss the goal to uh, uh get the points that you need for the next like level or whatever, um, it's like a minute time loss, just off the bat. And for an auto scroller where you can't save but like a couple of seconds or whatever on like your own movement and stuff like that, um, it's that just means that the run is dead or PB is dead at least. You know, like it's such a huge I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It's just it's just a huge disappointment when you miss it by like a hundred points. And as we start getting more and more optimized and we're trying to cut out as many pictures as possible. We have to maximize our points for everyone we get, and just like a slight variation could absolutely make you miss it by like a hundred points, and then runs over. Yeah, I saw in like the description for gun laps, it was from like forty seconds lost by miss, like just being twenty-seven points short. I think it was he said. Or yeah, he said. Which, I believe it. Yeah, that sounds absolutely punishing. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But getting away from, I guess, because I'm kind of started with a bit negative there on my own and asking that question. But like, is there any like things that you've been enjoying with it, or like any major differences between like the OG snap and this new and the new snap that you've been liking and enjoying as part of the run? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, first of all, the game is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's it really pretty. Uh, we don't have to do lag reduction anymore. That's a really nice plus. Um, but unfortunately, we don't get a lot. To, we don't get to look around very much because uh, the cart mechanics are the same, which means that if you're not looking forward, uh, you're losing time. So a lot of it's just like, all right, let's look forward. And then we'll just like turn to the left or right whenever we need to take a picture of something and then back to looking forward. But at least it's a pretty review. I didn't like I was watching the video. I noticed it was slight like, speed. Is that just is it just an automatic speed up when you're looking forward or is it is that also like a I guess like a hold button. Uh, like, so the the best way to describe it is that like the cart's always moving forward, but you can like increase your speed in any direction where you look. So looking to the left means you're moving forward and moving to the left. But okay. that speed that you could be moving forward at, you're now using to go left. So you're not going as fast as you could be, right? So the yeah. only way to go max speed is to look forward, right? Luckily, we have, like, D-pad up is, like, focuses the camera straight forward, so we don't have to worry about, like, you know, how we're doing anything like that. But um, essentially, whenever you're not taking a picture or setting up to take a picture, always be looking forward. Okay, and in terms of, like, for taking pictures, I assume it's probably not too much difference in terms of, like, how scoring and, like, the general principles behind that. I assume, like... I couldn't imagine that being too different, right? Uh, so for the mo most part, yes. Um, like the basic principles are the same, um, but they did change the scoring mechanism in the second game. Um, in the first game, it was size, pose, um, if it was centered, and if there were uh, bonus, like extra Pokemon in the background. So... Uh, um, essentially, it would be like, okay, it has to be in the center. So we focused really hard on like making sure our photos were centered because um, that means we get double points. So a 2,000-point picture becomes 4,000 points. Um, 
in this new game, they got rid of the two times thing. And so now there's like pose, size, um, like I think it's positioning, direction, and uh, also the bonus Pokemon. So um, you have to get like the 4,000 or 5,000 points by like a bunch of different factors now. Um, but that means that we can take photos that normally would have been bad in the first game that now still count for like 3,000 or 4,000 points in the new game. So um, while it's different, it's still relatively the same threshold that we're looking for. Okay. Do you prefer this new way of like that, like the tally and the score, or are you more of the like the OG version? Uh, currently, I'm still for the OG, mainly because I understand how the old okay. one works. The new one feels like it's just a black magic, you know, tomfoolery. It's uh, <laughs> you take a picture and you're like this should be like four thousand points, right? It's like, oh no, this one is only like twenty seven hundred. Like, why? <laughs> why was that? Why? Why? What? What did I do? <laughs> you know, then you take a picture. Like, oh, that's probably bad. Oh, that one counted for five k. Okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> you know, it's like I don't understand. Yeah, I imagine as time gets on. Oh, I like to hope at least when time gets on, then <laughs> there's some sort of way to figure like why those bad pictures are good, those good pictures not so yeah. good. Hopefully, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So uh, as well, just uh, one thing that. I I don't know. Does it play a part in the speed run? Like, there's auto selecting pages. I assume you're probably only actually okay. taking one. I was, I was going to bring it up. I was going to bring it up. I wasn't <laughs> sure if we we're going to move on from that. I wanted to bring it up. Um, auto select is huge for this game. Right. Um, because uh, in the previous game, menuing was a big deal, right? Where you had to take, like, okay, we're going to take 10 pictures and I have to know exactly which six I'm going to select. So it's like, okay, it's this one, then right, then down, then right, then up right, then right, then right, or whatever. Okay, I got all the pictures. Now we can exit out and go. Um, but in this one, it's like, all right, cool. I took one picture of everything. I'm going to hit the auto select button and then go. And it's just, it's just going to automatically pick what I know it's going to pick. So it's, yeah. it's a blessing and a curse, though, because uh, so we do have an idea of how the auto select works. Like, um, because of the new star poses, that's the thing. Um, essentially, it goes star pose, uh, and then I think points within that. But it also goes by which one you don't have. So if you have a four star picture, but not a three star picture, and you take one of each, it'll automatically select the three star picture okay. instead of the four star, even if it's worse. Ooh, so you have to, so knowing that going in, it's not that bad, but. But I have a couple of clips on my on my channel of like I took a really good picture of like Pan Cham. It's gonna be 4K plus. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be a beautiful picture. And then I also took a picture where I missed the Pokemon I was going for, and I got Pan Cham way in the background, and it caught, counted like 800 points. And then I went to auto select, and it picked the 800 point one instead of the one the good one that I picked. Oh, no. And they're the same star. They're the good star. They're, they're the same star rating, and they're one's better points than the other. But for some reason, the game goes, "Oh, that eight hundred point one. That's the one we're gonna pick." It's like, why? Why did you do this? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, that'd be my nightmare. That that'd yeah, actually it, be my nightmare. <laughs> it does that all the time. So that's why it's like you got to be real careful and get just the right pictures. Because if you know what you're going in and getting, it's not that bad. But Sometimes, like, accidentally taking two pictures instead of one just throws a whole wrench in the gears. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Frustrating. <my God>. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, my God. I, I, like, I, like, that's not even, like, because obviously like, you have randomness just in general. That's not even randomness, per se. That's just, that's something set in the game. Yeah, and I don't know why it does that. Like, like based on everything that we know about the thresholds and criteria that it chooses on, it should never pick that picture, but it does. And so, I, like I said, black magic box, dude. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on. Oh. So, just out of curiosity, just, I don't know, like, this could be anything in relation to Snap Speed Running, whether it's the run itself or, like, just the community side of it. Has there been anything that surprised you, uh, surprised you? Like maybe some new people have come in that have come in like really like quite on the top quickly or mm. just different run ideas. I believe is it 
first run of all Pokemon is now done, which I guess that's kind of an eventuality that you'd think of, but mm -hmm. has it been anything uh, that's kind of surprised you? Yeah, uh, a couple of things off the off the top of my head. Um, you know, whenever we got this new game, I kind of expected that a lot of the old community would come back and would, like, help route this. And a couple of them did, like Quo and myself um, were there, and CJ It's All Good was there. Um, but we also saw the rise of a couple of new people. Uh, Pwned Noob, uh, uh, Dante, uh, who else? Uh, Alfindial, uh, Ib, a couple other people um, just kind of came out, like, they were like, brand new to speedrunning, and they showed up, and they're like, hey, we want to uh, we want to work on the game. And they did a lot of the 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 groundwork you know they they just they practice everything and they're like okay if we do this picture we'll get this many points this so that based on this like they're doing like calculations and stuff and so they put in a lot of work in the early days to get a, a really good foundation um uh everyone but dante was i think pretty new to the speedrunning community um oh wow so um that surprised me but um the other thing that surprised me was there's a couple of things in the game that are really hard to find, like, concrete setups for. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, but in the uh, in order to progress through the undersea level, which is the last stage in Maricopia, um, you have to uh, get to research level 2, and then there's a Clawitzer that's halfway through the stage, and then a second one shows up, and they have, like, a fight... Then once the fight's over, they go their separate ways. And then whenever you restart the level, Clawitzer will appear at the beginning of the stage. And then he'll open up an alternate path that you need to get to the end of in order to um, progress the story. Uh, but like the exact moment that that goes through or that uh, the trigger happens is just, we don't really know. And because we can't, load up a save it's everything's auto save all the time so it's, you can't go back once you've done it so you have to do a new run to maricopia which is like an hour and a half so it just it's just hard to test so we've done some we've done some tests and compared a whole bunch of different runs and we tried to figure out what's going on but like uh just some things are like they don't have like a aha it worked you know like like a boo boo like a, there's no notification yeah. or anything it just silently in the in the game's knowledge it goes okay cool now it'll appear so uh, a couple of really good runs have died to uh thinking that we got it and then we quit out and then it doesn't doesn't work so uh -huh. stuff like that has been really frustrating but like it's surprising it's like in the old game in the first game it was like everything worked because there was like a cutscene or like a notification happened or we get a message or it'd be like a sound cue or something like we would be able to tell that things worked but now it feels like things are more obfuscated and uh, it's a little frustrating but uh yeah things that's like those are the things that i'm like that really surprised me the most i guess last last question do you have any idea of like what the potential for this rune will be? Like, we'll say any percent because that's been done more than the old yeah. Pokemon at this point. Or is it a bit too early to tell still? Uh, I mean, it's you know, it's probably too early to tell exactly. Yeah. Um, but uh, based on what we know now, um, beating two and a half hours is probably gonna be really tough. Um, maybe like impossible so okay. far. Um, just like I said, because of what we know, it's an auto scroller. A lot of it is just like we just have to go through it. We can't speed it up anymore. Um, we have to get certain point thresholds, which means we can only cut out so much. So it's just like it's going to be really hard to beat that. Oh, yes, that, that's it. Thank you for taking the time once again. Do Absolutely, um, of course. Anything to, I guess, quickly shout out for either snap discord or yourself uh yeah i mean if you want to check out the snap discord we have uh plenty of resources and a lot of uh discussion going on so it's a really great place uh really welcoming so come on in uh, you can check out that uh you'll get the discord link on the speedrun.com page um but yeah check us out and uh maybe even look at old pokemon snap it's really good i promise <laughs> i mean it's a much quicker run if you want a shorter run 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The old one is like twenty minutes. It's super optimized, and it's uh, you know, like I said earlier, it's it's a little bit. I think it's a little better. <laughs> Just like <laughs> we had it good. I didn't realize how good we had it until New Snap, and I'm like, man, we can quit out of stages. We can go. It's so much shorter. We everything is like more consistent. Like, man, I love old Snap. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, check out both the games, and I, I mean, I don't know who's going to be speaking after I've done this now, so we'll find out in a moment. Yeah, I, I I played through it like sort of casually, but uh, and yeah, nothing, nothing speed run. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> Just more like checking out, like exploring a little bit more. Uh, I've so. never speed run these games. Uh, yeah, I played them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still need to play the new one, but uh, very soon, hopefully. Um, audio seems to be dead for the stream. Yeah. Um, oh, they can hear us, now, not I you, I think. Oh. <laughs> because I muted myself. Way. <laughs> I muted myself on the OBS because I didn't want to, like, type. <laughs> <laughs> And this is a typical Jordan move. So, ah, eh, whatever. It happened. Basically, it just said, um, secure account, new star combination. Uh, they almost reset the run, because, but they didn't because it was a new star combination. It wasn't for that world record. Razrelian, it was an over 13 minute PB. It happened during the last podcast. Um, so, and just like from there, it was like pretty bad run apparently, but really good RNG managed to bring it back. And then on to this, uh, this last, uh, the last side game run was uh, a new world record. Well, okay, it's not technically a new world record, apparently. So they have like two different timings for the train card game. And it seems like most people just run no tutorial at this point. But in the rule says it's technically like if you use no tutorial, you, it isn't classed as a world record, even though they add the time on. It's some sort of setup. But basically, it's like, it's world record, but it's technically not world record. It's at the top of the leaderboard, this run. Uh, like, 
well, a few soft uh, resets throughout the run. And a few fights were apparently really bad by the run standard. But it's also over, like, it's over a minute and a half ahead of second place now. So they're clearly a very good runner. Like, like have very high standards. But also, I guess, going back to the early point, why he's got the two different times in the actual title. But... Yeah, I guess I'm surprised it actually lasted this long with me muting my mic. I'm surprised it lasted until the third episode. I would have expected it to happen to like at least like at least by the second episode. But anyway, gonna be happy with that. But then there's one fan game, which I if you want to cover that. Yeah, so this is uh, Gold or Forged. So this is a a hack of the Space World demo of Pokemon Gold. And this is by G Hines. So G Hines, uh, I I did a ride a few runs of this, and he was really interested in running it. Um, finally got around to doing a run, and he ended up bopping me by about 50 seconds. Uh, he was very behind off the start, as you can see. Um, so there's still a lot to be improved here. Um, in my run, I had hit three extra, three optional trainers, uh, two spinners, and a stander, and so. Uh, he just, the time save is mostly just him not hitting those extra trainers with probably a little bit of more of optimal movement because he did do a little more practice on the movement um, prior to doing this run. So um, he was doing more runs of this. I don't know if he's beaten this any further, but um, he was also looking at routing a different starter. Uh, there's a, The water starter is interesting because water is obviously really good for speed runs, but the water starter in this game is extremely slow. So he was, I think he determined that if you um, get lucky and hit all your ranges, the water starter could be faster at the top end, but the fire starter is much more consistent. So it'll be interesting to see if he ever does runs of that, um, what, what kind of times we can get with, the, with either of the two routes. Okay. Great. And then we're going on to like the past marathon runs now. Uh, we're going like to go through these a bit quicker compared to before. But actually, there was um, Iron. You had a run prior to this one, but there didn't seem to be any sort of thing online, like no like Twitch vod or anything that I could find. On the yeah, I, I actually forgot to forgot to grab that. Um, yeah. Whoops. No, I that, well, I, even when I looked, it, it just didn't exist. It wasn't anything that could be found. Like there wasn't even in like the past past streams. Uh, oh, that's weird. Was, yeah, what was it? I don't know what no glitches allowed is on on my head, but when I checked the the channel at the time, it just wasn't anything there. Unless yeah, was, it was. Guess, it was not on their Twitch channel. It was on a. It was on like a community marathons channel of some sort. I don't remember exactly which one. It was. That might have been why then. Uh, <laughs> either way, I couldn't find it. So. Yeah, no, it was it was a decent run, so not, not much to talk about there. Yeah, and then I had a I had a run here for velocity. Uh, what you saw at the beginning was me having to close the game down because I forgot to nickname. It's a very common thing me forgetting to do things. So yeah, I, I forgot to nickname the Kufu, so I had to like I think I've been looking around for Chansey's not Chansey Blissey's to like grind XP in the run for like. Five minutes. I'd also been killed by one, like by a Blissey prior. It was, it was something. It it was something that run. But it was fun. I had fun and it's a, a nice bit of amount of money. I think so. Whatever. It it was good. It was fun. Uh, and then I think like there was a few. So for this was no like no kids hungry. Uh, this was like Keys's run. Was the last by like, the last Pokemon run, but like there was five in those like Hercules bench press with Stadium Two blindfold Master Ball Challenge Cup. Uh, there was Razor Flame come with uh, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge Intense. Uh, there was Conception with a much better executed version of Pokemon Soul Tower Two Fists compared to what I did, and then just call me Geo. Uh, did Poke Path Wii any percent? Getting uh two thirty seven twenty three, which I think is a pretty solid time. And then keys with a uh, emerald randomizer evolve every level, and having the metapod evolve into a Deninja, which was 
That's that's one like you, you think you get some sort of improvement over me. Uh, to be fair, would you prefer a metapod or would you prefer a Shedinger? I honestly don't know. know. Like they're both they're both <laughs> not good. They're both really bad. <laughs> I would assume Shedinger. As long as you can hit everything in one hit. Yeah. Hit everything in one hit, <laughs> or just hope that the opponent doesn't have a move that'll hit you. Yeah. yeah. Then Pokemon Red no center no marts. This was for or autism speed event. Uh just I have no context in terms of like the time for the run. I think it's a so I think it's a solid run. If either you just know about this run in general, or if anyone knows about the run in general. Um Yeah, I don't know what like a, a good a good run is, but two thirty five doesn't seem bad at all. Um and given the estimate was two fifty, I think Cruel put up a really good run. Then with Voidathon, which am I correct in thinking that Void is I don't know why this is not loading. Uh that. Oh. Uh for whatever reason this isn't coming up, but uh are they a Donkey Kong I think they're Donkey Kong Country speedrunner. So like how host of the marathon. Uh, there's quite a few Pokemon runs there, so like this would be uh, mozzarella cheese with that long name for Mystery Dungeon uh, Blue Re Blue Rescue Team. It was uh, SNES Charm was in fact actually I might be able to okay, get this run up. Hey, okay, there's something in the background at least. So this is a. Uh... SNES Chalmers TCG any percent glitchless A one sixteen oh seven, which underestimate fair play. Uh, there's also a crystal randomizer bingo by like with basement hero and Fion. Heyman ND did puzzle league super hard. Uh, Abisoft did new snap any percent with a two fifty four ten, and then there was also a Yeet Yachts for fire relief rune which didn't have a clear winner after three hours. How long do they normally take, uh, etiquette? Um, in Fire Red, I don't know. Uh, Crystal ones can take anywhere from usually around the four hour mark. Um, but with Fire Red Leaf Green being just the Kanto Pokemon, I'm assuming, um, probably a bit shorter. All right, fair. Yeah. Okay. Despite what the title says, it is not. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze Funky Mode. Uh, this is uh, Maratona Online for like with Speedruns Brazil. So, like, I'm going to do my Brazilian marathon here. A uh, couple of runs here. Uh, Mendo. Oh, God. <laughs> Mendo. Mendo Kodo Ribelco. I think. I think that's how you say that. Uh, another uh, Red. Oh, I think this is Red Rescue Team. Uh, any percent wonder mail no quick save three fourteen twenty eight seems like a solid run. Uh, I I don't know how random these runs are in like major comparison for like a marathon setting, but getting underestimate it's always good. Then there was also an X any percent race, which if I both of you probably know. Uh, I think there was like a four hour twenty estimate, and they were just a bit over, but like a four four twenty two thirteen. Like, is that like a solid run for X or? That's not too bad for a marathon run, just because you know Bunnelby and Alucha can happen, right? Uh, so honestly, like, what what was my PB like three forty two? I'd probably give like a four and a half hour estimate if I was gonna do in a marathon. So that okay. seems uh that seems okay, you know. It just seems like a a bit of a just like a a bit. Yeah, I would assume work, like but... maybe bad RNG, because uh, there's not like there's not really too many spinners or anything like that to go through in this in this run. So it's like you know you can have Bone Rush miss a bunch of times, you can have Rock Tomb miss a bunch of times. Uh, you cannot get the lucky egg. You, like there's just so many RNG points. It's so I mean, I would assume you know bad Halucha catch. Uh, 
you know, some bad RNG later on causing, I would assume, a death somewhere because even the Ly Lysander fights can be, like, a little bit messed up, so. Um, seems okay, you know, I mean, yeah. if if I got that in a marathon run, I if it, if, I mean, if my estimate was four and a half hours, I'd be pretty happy, you know. <laughs> Bet. Maybe, maybe with, because what, I know what I'll be looking at O powers. I assume if if they come into fruition, whether that's in a new category or not, I assume yeah, they marathon is um, a lot nicer as well. Corby May did a run yesterday for Alpha Sapphire with O powers, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, I think it was a little a little bit slower than her PB, but um, I know she was saying that it wasn't uh, like perfect yet or anything. So, I mean, I could uh, I could see something similar in uh x y as well because you know you may o power like uh x attacks or something instead and it may it might save some setups and it makes the game definitely more safer which is kind of nice there's also a catching go power i think as well which might be helpful for whole uh, yeah, from what i understand reason. it raises it like 20 30 percent or something i can't remember exactly the number but it raises the catch yeah. rate by quite a bit <laughs> so yeah. it's huge when the catch rate, I think, is uh, 20%. And then with the whole setup we have with uh, Orenberry and attacking it with Aerial Ace, it raises it to about 60% chance to catch it or something. So, I mean, it's getting better, but definitely not perfect yet. Yeah, that's fair. And then the only this is the only run, I think, for speedruns helping out Genesis with... Uh... Red, blue, any percent, no safe corruption. 13, 36, quite a fair bit underestimate. Uh, again, I don't know in terms of the context of the leaderboard, maybe I and you know a bit more? Or... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not iron, but yeah. 13, 36 <laughs> is, a, you know, it's a, it's a solid time. The record's like 11, 30, and that requires some really, really, really good luck. So All right. um, anywhere sub 15 is honestly really good. Right. Congrats on to Genesis on Soldier. And then finally, earlier today, I believe this was Power, uh, power Up with Pride, uh, Conception N2 with Red 80%, getting a 15606. I assume for a marathon run, that, that's a solid time. Like, especially because you probably won't be doing stuff like Red Bar. Unless you want to be really risky. That should be any percent glitchless, but. Any yeah. Percent, okay, yeah, any percent glitchless. Sorry, no, any percent's like a minute long. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Really bad any percent. Yeah, really bad any percent run. <laughs> <laughs> but a very solid any percent glitch just run. That's too fair. It's yeah. any percent on marathon thing. I'm gonna blame that. Not my yeah. Not my lack uh, of fair, uh, yeah. thinking. One fifty six is a good time for sure. Yeah. And then upcoming. Oh, beats my PV, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like upcoming marathons. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. I don't want to say it too many times. A uh, couple of runs, both by Conception. Uh, red, any percent on the 6th at 7... Oh, I was going to say 17.02. 5.02 in the afternoon. Um, and then that's followed up by... Actually, is that the new thing? That, I, should, I should say, there was another run here. And in fact, on the look to it, I think the Pokemon Red run's now being taken out of it. Unless that's been moved. It's like there was there yeah, used to be sword is still there. Yeah, yeah sword is still there with a uh, get Urshfu at a much earlier time. I I have it down at like twenty past eleven at night. That's been moved to like five to five. I think there was a couple of Pokemon runs that must have been cut for some reason. Um, because I know there was a there was an aura like I think Alpha Sapphire run on emulator. So yeah, just actively uh actively having maybe there's just been some issues. And they've been cut for that. Uh, then there is Marathon de Pokemon Hispano uh, 2021. Terrible pronunciations, I assume. Uh, I'm not going to go through each individual run. It's a Pokemon marathon uh, held by the Spanish-speaking community. Uh, I don't know what the channel was on, or like what it's on, but yeah. Full of Pokemon runs. Uh, if you... If you just want to watch Pokemon in general, but if especially if you speak Spanish, 
you will probably enjoy that. And that is starting on the 11th at 5 p.m. Uh, UK time. Then there is Questing for Glory 4. Yep. Uh, rule again with Pokemon Red, no center, no Mart. Uh, hopefully you can get a similar run to the one he had earlier. And then the last upcoming one for this month, uh, or like for before the next podcast, is Conception with Red. But any percent again, I'm going to assume it's Red any percent glitchless. Uh, on the 21st, if I scroll down, one of the last runs. Okay, no, I just put any percent. I was an idiot. Uh, but yeah, red uh, any percent glitchless. Uh, like around half past midnight. So that is everything for the upcoming marathons for before the next podcast. There is also, uh, I guess, with G U Q. What is it? It's Swift and like Swift and Pulse doing it. Is it black white? Yeah, it's gonna be black versus white race. Uh, with Swift and Pulse, and then. Amoeba on the final day doing um, Emerald Glitchless, so really solid lineup this time around. Yeah, and I think yeah, there, there will there will be a podcast before, so they will be brought up again. But congrats to uh, Swift, to Pulse, and to Amoeba for getting to GDQ. I don't think any other because like, I know I think BSG was recently announced. Nothing got in there on the Pokemon end. But, wait. Uh, cool thing that's uh, happened in the past month. Uh, if I and you want to talk about this. Yeah, so there's a new task of Pokemon Red uh, by Mr. Wint. Uh, this beats the previous task by about 50 seconds. Uh, and it was recently con verified on console by Ty Kevin. Um, so. He probably knows a little bit more about this than I do, but uh, this road's very interesting. Uh, the previous uh, task went... I'm not sure if the previous task did this, with, went into Clefable after Squirtle. But after Clefable, you catch a Tauros, as you can see here, in the Safari Zone, and um, use that for the rest of the game. And Tauros is pretty good. It's got good, it's got good speed. Uh, this run, I believe you... Use that candy before the fight uh, in order to outspeed things. Because in Gen 1, of course, you need to be faster to use uh, one-hit KO moves, such as um, Fisher and Horn Drill. And then this one's really interesting with the Arbok. Um, you get screeched by it to drop your speed a little bit more with the badge boost. Uh, and then that allows you to outspeed the last Gengar. So that's a really nifty little bit of routing uh, that Mr. Wint did. So this is a really cool run. I recommend you check it out. And I think uh, watching Ty Kevin's um, ta console verification uh, will probably be better because there's commentary. Yeah, and the the other cool thing about this that I didn't really realize until I uh, I read through the sort of submission on task videos. Um, apparently, that it sort of started out as a, as a meme route, but originally yeah. it was just trying to see if. So the, the old task on task videos was the just the Nidoran route, basically. Um, and Mr. Went actually went ahead and made a Squirtle task that was about six seconds faster than the Nidoran one as well. Um, so it's sort of like did the Squirtle route on its own and then, you know, started to take a look at this, realized how, you know, how good Squirtle into Clefable was specifically... Um, you know, Nidoran takes a lot to get going. You have to do like the swap strats on Brock. Um, and you don't really get Nidoking King until, you know, a little bit later. Whereas in this route, you basically get the Clefable, you know, right in Mount Moon, basically where you get Nidoking King in, uh, in normal. Uh, but then all of Clefable's moves are the shake moves. So the, you know, faster variant of the move animation, uh, except for Mega Punch, which you only use when you really need the extra extra power and you basically don't you basically one shot everything after misty um until you get the tauros so it's it's a really cool route um and it's not i haven't seen any of the discussion in the gen 1 discord or anything but he does make some uh comments at the end saying this might be something that's viable rta um so we might see i doubt it will you know, overtake the Nidoking route, but we might see some interesting 
uh, developments there. The, I was going to make a joke about when is this going to be RTA viable, but the fact that it actually <laughs> could potentially be that's actually <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah, I mean, there there are some obvious things that uh, Nitto King ha takes advantage of that Tauros wouldn't be able to. Mainly, uh, like the red bar setup on Koga, Mister Wint was able to get it on this one, um, but obviously he can get whatever RNG he needs. Um, with Nitto King, there's basically no RNG getting the the self destruct because self destruct is the only non for the only not not very effective move that Weezing yeah. has, so he's gonna use it if it doesn't spam X attacks. Um, Taurus would have to find a different red bar setup. All right, well, part of the many technical difficulties that have happened today on my end, uh, this is an audit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we're going to be jumping around a bit, I think, with this. So, <laughs> uh, I guess to say, like, Yujito with a 12th place. Uh, time of one forty six thirty nine, very impressive run. Also, I think I saw did did the mad Adit. That's a that's a name and a half. Uh, they got a new PB, didn't they today? I think. Uh, or something happened. I saw something in the hype rolls. I don't know if anyone else knows a bit more about that. Sounds familiar. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, yep, 147.24 is the new PB, so 24 seconds better than what we see here. Okay. GG's to them. Okay, congrats. Um, the Tepich with the 80% Japanese run. The world record that was mentioned earlier. Uh, people still run? I don't know, uh, sorry, I'm surprised we've seen a classic run. I know, like, how, they're not common runs, are they, 80%? What was the difference, actually? Uh, um, you can't do RNG manipulation... Uh, you have to do the hideout, so you can't do the uh, poke flute uh, skip. Right. Sorry, you can't do the self scope skip rather with the poke doll. Okay. Uh, is that it? There might be a few others. You can't get instant text. So pretty much yeah, like fire red, effectively <laughs> fire red, leaf green kind of uh, rule set, if you will. It's the Japanese rule set, effectively in yeah. English. Yeah, classic is no minips as well. Okay. I didn't say that? Okay, yeah. That too. We will skip Stadium Calgary extensions. <laughs> uh, truly with 8th place with a 155.27 in yellow. Yeah, Truly's been on a tear on in many different categories the last few months. So he'll, we'll see him again later on in this uh, roundup. Alright. Uh, Benny Car Game, we mentioned that one already, but a 46.10 by GTNTG in their own world record. Uh, CC never ended with a new snap PB. It was uh, part of, like, interviewed earlier, but a 2052.967. Oh, wait, no. Run date. No, it lies. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. It lied. All right. Okay, never mind. Well, whatever. Still, congrats to CC on that PB. Uh, and also for Andrew OOT. Both for any percent Wii Virtual Console 2247. Uh, as well, if there's just any other runs, anyone here that like pop out, like I think like fifth for Jim Lee, just finishing the stadium run seems difficult enough. We're getting fifth uh, with the Retroid Prime or Retro Prime, they won 3626. Uh, oh. One gold run for BBB, 80% glitchless Japanese, 322.25. Uh, Pokemon Crystal, uh, 15th for Ocean Bagel, 320.51. And then 80% English, uh, Azazas, with a 7th place with 13.17. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... how is the run zero? <laughs> zero. We have zero position for AJ. A one fifty eight oh three. Uh, I guess from the looks of it, it's probably an obsolete run. It is, yeah. Because if you look over the world records, one seventeen. Yeah. 
I wonder what context for that is. Because like the common for is sub two took way too long. No idea. Yeah. One of those unique things, I guess. With the uh, with the leaderboard board, uh, leaderboard bot. Oh, it's um. If you look at the, you don't have to pull it up, but the actual leaderboard, there's a dual style manip or non manip. Uh... So the, the record is manip, but this was a non manip time. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, also, so with Pokemon Ruby Sapphire, Blue Magma with a two oh seven oh seven. Uh. 80% glitchless English. And then very close behind is uh, Curissa with a 2.13.01. Also Revenue. Yeah, not, no, oh, sorry, not sure how many of these runs have uh, have the Abra, but that's a new uh, route which makes things a tiny bit safer. Sapphire is still a brutal game, but um, there's been a bit more interest in this. In this, We've probably discussed that on the podcast I before. I think but... we might have, yeah. Yeah, we talked about it last month. I tried learning Sapphire. It was it was a bit ago, and it was brutal. I never touched it again. <laughs> but maybe with a new route, who knows? Yeah, Wave recently got a one fifty nine or something. Oh, that was uh, wow. pretty good. He's getting close to the record now. What is the world record? Oh, wow, one one fifty seven. Yeah. Yeah, seventeen by Shiru. Yeah, that is getting close. Okay, gotta shout out the gotta shout out the one Pokemon channel run. Any percent single console. I think that's old. Oh uh, I mean oh okay, it's like it's still this Sorry, year. I had to spoil that. I know. <laughs> I I assume this one's mostly because I imagine I I mean yeah, it took like a month to verify uh, verify. But I think that's probably more just Pokemon channels really inactive. And probably the mods are kind of like Nice on that, but it's still gonna shout it out. It's like a special thing because I've I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a channel run since we started the podcast or like taking over the podcast. So, gotta shout out Harry with a uh, 47, uh, 47, 55.13. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum seventh for Z uh, for Zika with a three thirty five flat. With the first quill rinse. Oh, that is that the first quill rinse? So, uh, Zeke say he's like been the, I guess, the modern champion for like the broken all route. Uh, but I guess with the first quill rinse, he's uh, he's managed to beat it. <laughs> Which that's just how great quill is for uh, Coliseum. Then also, yeah, uh, Zeke, uh, Zeke's been grinding the game for quite a long time, so it's nice to see him, uh, Get that run. Yeah, and that's a that's a again just being Coliseum as well is impressive enough. Uh, but again, such a solid time as well. Uh, Randall, uh, Randall eats cheese with a three thirty seven thirteen. I think he started this month, or like in the past month. Yeah, he just picked this up. Yeah, and already getting very solid times. I I don't know how uh, like if. What the timing difference is with emulator if it's a bit quicker, but still, it's going to be a very slow time either way if there's much of a difference. I assume it's probably stable or fairly like or fairly accurate timing wise. Then, very closely behind though, uh, Wanli with a 10th or like 10th visible on leaderboard, 11th on uh, if you include emulator with a 337.48 on 420. Oh, really? Again? In the past? <laughs> okay, I get that one. Was, that one was submitted in May. That one was fine. <laughs> There's a lot of runs I feel like that just happened like that with the uh, with how the leaderboard bot is set up. Shen also got a three thirty three like a week ago or something. Oh yeah, that's uh, pretty good. That'll probably pop up next month. <laughs> yeah, of course. Submitted. <laughs> Uh, and then also actually Ryzen there with the no sag uh, no snags second place, uh, three forty two thirty seven. Uh, that's a very good time. I mean, like it's, if you look at Bolton's time, it's like almost four minutes ahead, but Bolton's like amazing with Coliseum. But yeah, so but like also that's a very solid run by Ryzen. Uh. 
and when one of them like go over the fire relief rings, there's there's a fair few of these. That, like, yeah, there's the there's a lot of crazy stuff that's that's happened. So obviously with the tournament, a lot of people have been grinding this game. Um, so Reese just the other day on a non with a very solid two o two o nine, and I just wanted to point out that um, he's what fourth place there um, with emulator. Um, so he's fourth place with two o two o nine. We have Ringo coming in right after with a two o two ten for fifth. Poke guy is two o two eleven, and Cooker is two o two twelve. So we have four runners in four seconds. Uh, uh, Ringo is at two o two o eight now. Actually, but yeah. Oh. Ooh. Breaking that pattern. Rip. <laughs> but uh, still, yeah, very solid. Uh, it's very crowded up at the top of that leaderboard. It's really cool. Yeah, I think JP see. also got a 20201 or something. Uh, yes. I mean, that game's been insane for the past, like, six months or something. Yeah. Yeah, like, especially uh, like, with the tournament as well. I, I guess with like, that's helped with the popularity of this but even yeah, then, speaking of the turn yeah speaking of the tournament we have our tournament winner kurt uh p being uh just the other day with a 203 12 so very very solid time um we'll talk a little bit about the tournament later but uh yeah very good time there pinkish uh another one of our finalists actually with a 203 29 and truly put up an exceptionally good run tying pinkish at 203 29 I think he had been playing this game for only a couple weeks and got this kind of time. Top 10 with uh, on console, which is really, really good. Okay. And there are a number of other good good runs here as well from Head Bob, Kadir, Veroda, etc. So really, really lots of activity. Even the Japanese side has like, there's been some top times there as well from the looks of it. Like we mentioned Ringo before, but... Oh god, like, so Mirirai? I think. Uh, 203.43. And then, like, Rinchan. Uh, DX. Like, a bit further behind, but still 209.52 is a very solid time. Oh, and then Shiru as well, with the lethal round 2. 332.17. Yeah, he's uh, grinding this quite a bit. It's very, very RNG <laughs> dependent category uh, for round 2, but. Uh, the, the the bracket is extremely good. It's 329 or 328, somewhere around there. So it's a little and, ways off. Yeah, 328.55. By Poke Guy. Up. So, yep, so Shira's trying to add that, uh, gen, another Gen 3 record to his uh, collection. Is that the last one he needs for the Gen 3 suite? He technically needs Emerald Any Percent. The uh, the glitch oh. category, which is right. a massive luck fest. Maybe one day. But the glitchless sweep for sure. Speaking of Emerald though, Amoeba with the two thirty one thirty nine. Putting them uh, putting them fourth. Awful apparently. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know if he just he I think it looks like he just squeaked this in uh right after the last podcast. But yeah. uh yeah, I mean, he has really high standards for his run at this point, so... Yeah. Yep. See, probably, like, the smallest mistakes feel terrible to him. I could see that. Pokemon Dash, Green Cup regular, 40 end gamer, 530, uh, 539.74. Yeah, I got a shout-out Dash as well. His white light. Got, got a little bit of Dash. Uh, one thing with um, Pokemon SD Gale of Darkness... Um, so the Battle CD RTA, uh, Battle CD RTA English Metronome, uh, I've got it down later, but may as well bring it up now, I guess. There's currently a $40 prize, I think, yep. uh, for getting the world record, uh, by the end of June. So whoever has world record by the end of June, uh, will win $40. Uh, there's, there'll be, like, there'll be more information in, oh, there's more information in the... Or see him in XG Discord, but if you want like a very short one, uh, run like the current world record is one minute and two seconds by Thurla. Um, I assume it's probably pretty reset heavy with it being metronome, and <laughs> you just gotta try and get the right things. But if you think you can 
be that 102 by the end of June. Pocket yourself a nice $40 there. And I believe as well that it, you are allowed to use emulator. You can use emulator for this. So you don't have to pay a ridiculous amount of money for a copy of XD to play on console and then all the console setup as well. I think the uh, Dolphin emulator is really accurate from what I understand. So Yeah, it's a Dolphin 5.0, I believe it'll be. So yeah, if you're interested, go for that. Then also with the, the Japanese All 50, a couple of runs for that as well. Um, MTN Choru uh, with a 23057 that was done in April. Uh, and then Ainz, I'm not even going to bother, bother training it, like, let's say Chen, 24222 uh, in second place. There might be the only two runs potentially, but still impressive. I assume. Um, Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team Shady Gamer X with a two thirty five seventeen in eight percent no quick save no win the mail English DS slash three slash GBA. Uh, congrats on that world record. I guess I just missed that one <laughs> when going over this. Uh, Shigeruma with the Recruit them all, no quick save, no win the mail, Japanese Wii U world record. I was aware of this one. Um, I just, uh, it's it's just, I guess, not to put it trivially, uh, it's a, just another recruit them all run, so I thought it'd be best just to maybe, like, kind of leave this one out, because I don't, like, there's not anything we can, or at least I could really talk about. I don't believe it, or I know at least Etika and Iron don't know much about PMD, uh, or PMD runs. I I I don't think. Like, do you know five up? Uh, like five, uh, five upper. Sorry for what? Uh, recruit them all for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, or Blue Rescue Team. No, I don't know <laughs> much about Mystery Dungeon games. I'll be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, not like no one else on the podcast it does either. Too bad we don't got whom in here, Sag. Yeah, we had, I, I've been asking whom a lot. Typically, I just forgot to ask this month about the different PMD runs. But yeah, we had whom on the last podcast, and we had him also a few podcasts ago as well. Very knowledgeable about a lot of runs, but especially PMD. Uh, if we're going straight to Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Yeah, we did talk. Yeah, we talked about Dexies. That was what Skoa talked about. Yeah. Uh, when yeah. are we gonna oh, get no. the right. Manipulus runs on the actual leaderboards instead of category ex extensions? That's a, to... That's an interesting question. Which I don't. I don't know if actually still here, but I know. I believe he's a one of the leaderboard mods. I mean, personally, yeah. anyways, this is a personal opinion, but I think Manipulus runs, you know, have their place for the for the main leaderboard, like. That's the way we all played the game when we first picked it up anyways, so. Okay, apparently too many speedrun boomers. Well, there we go. That was <laughs> the, the exact comment I made deserves that <laughs> reply. But yeah. Uh, I think you missed Crafted's run up. up top. Uh, the, uh, that was a category extension. Oh, wait, yeah. But that is oh, Manipulous. That is Manipulous. And that is a weird <laughs> The Manipulous, come on, man. <laughs> Manipulous Glitchless specifically as well. Uh, but 354.08 by Crafted. I have no idea. Like, I I guess it uses Chimchar and Palkia based on the comment. But outside of that, I guess it's just like another. I, yeah, it's, it's just like another Manipulous Glitchless run, I guess. Uh, another thing with Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, didn't mention this, but and you'll see in like the comments here, the old battle passes round one. Uh, there they that used to be in category extensions, but now it's being moved to the main leaderboard. Potentially, what could be done with uh manipulous glitchless with diamond and pearl and platinum. <laughs> but yeah, so they're all. 
yeah, they're all older runs, but they've just now been moved over. So I guess congrats to Gnarly Turtle for now a main leaderboard world record in all battle passes round one. Uh, that's category extensions, but um, so actually was it so yeah, what, I think Diamond and Pearl we talked about last month because that might just happen before, like on the day of the podcast, but before the pack, uh, before the podcast happened, I think it was Platinum that Scott was talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, it was Platinum today. Right. Okay. Yeah, Dexy with a three twenty five forty one. Um. Already mentioned secure accounts by fourteen thirty nine. Um, uh, emulator world record earlier. Uh, Rumble category extensions. Yeah, we we're just kind of. I was like, if there wasn't all the technical errors that happened on my end, I would have removed all the category extensions. Uh, we've noticed that the leaderboard roundups takes a lot longer than it used to back when Amoeba doing it so at least we're just trialing it like we would have well kind of trialing it out this time for moving the category extension then we'll see how that goes yeah and right. if there's anything yeah. really really notable in the category extensions we can obviously highlight it uh, yeah, in the in the podcast itself yeah we don't want to take away from people's hard work but we want to respect everybody's time this is this can get quite long if we go through everything so yeah. So, both place though in hard gold, soul silver took a rat. Uh, took a lay rat. Three thirty-seven forty-six. Uh, I didn't realize it was. Oh yeah, are all like is that the main category for the Japanese runners? Uh, yeah, months? I think so. Okay. I remember that being a big. Yeah, because they, they consider the Kanto post game. Yeah, which again, I think that would cause a lot of arguments, uh, like a fair few yeah. months ago. So, quickly moving on. <laughs> uh, Poker Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure second place for Brady Boo with a two nineteen oh three. Uh, Turara, uh, Turara, uh, three two seven six seven with a second place for any percent Japanese with a two fifteen fourteen. And then just slightly behind in third, we have Shodai with a 216.39. Also in fifth, uh, Cinder, who uh, is popping every now and then to the podcast, with a 234.31 in fifth place. And then also All Friends, uh, All Friends Japanese World Record. I, I, have, I have a feeling this might be the only run, but still a 6.741. Whilst I have a quick nosy of this. It is. Okay. But still, uh, it is a it is a world record, so congrats to Fireworks Spinner with that time. Uh Basralium, as mentioned earlier, in Poke Part 2, Wonders Beyond, a 623.40, which happened on the day of the podcast. Uh actually during the podcast. Uh World Record in Manipulus for Black White 2. Root. I know Etchy's been having massive pains with Black White 2 Manipolis routing that out. Like, I, apparently it's not a nice run. If uh, I could get some confirmation if Etchy's still here. But whilst we move on to any, uh, the uh, Black White 2 non category extensions. Ah, oh, Skoa got a third place time with a 316.09. Not here to talk about that now because he was, uh, he had to leave early. A bit busy. Quite too bad. Yeah, basically. It's no good. Okay. Oh, it isn't. Uh, oh. Okay, and let me read that right. So basically, there's no good option for Mills. That isn't miserable. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I, I know I actually worked a lot on. Diamond, Diamond and Pearl. Oh, like, I think it was just Diamond and Pearl. Was it also, uh, sorry, was it just Platinum? Platinum. Platinum. Yeah, yeah it worked a lot on Platinum. Uh, Manipulous. Glitchless. Uh, but, having the issues with, uh, Black 2, White 2. Yeah, it's, 
I I know I never play the games, so I can't really talk too much. But I guess Jolby Root is probably the quickest one so far. Where was it? Yeah, Jolby Root for uh, Minipolis. Uh, War tab with the run mentioned earlier, three forty one fifty eight in second. Got super main with a three oh five thirty one. That was also mentioned earlier with any percent alpha sapphire. Etiquette, do you want to take let's go? Because this is the other yeah. busy game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go has had a lot of uh, movement on both sides, both Eevee and Pikachu. Um, you can see new top four times, except for the the record. Um, we talked about Saiyan and Jim Freak, actually with the another 302 as well. Katernese with a 305. Katernese had a 304, like a low 304 pace run, die to a crit on champion, which was unfortunate. Um, then some other new runners in the mix there as well. Um, and then Pika, you know, Jim Freak getting a 303 there, Etchy doing a 306 and then switching back. Um, there's May. I didn't realize Soji did runs, which is really cool to see. Oh, yeah. Um, Joker getting, <laughs> I think it's uncontested Japanese record. Um, I don't think the, the Japanese community doesn't really submit their times to the leaderboards, so I don't know. I think there might be a run by WhatsApp. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. But I assume oh. that was also probably a one-off by Wartap. Yeah, it was, I think. Um, and then a few more diploma runs here. Um, always good to see those. Yeah, and then I guess Joker as well with the room mentioned earlier with the 5.17.12. Yeah, the and then Aspect, Aspect getting a, a 5.38 in all attainables as well. Um, Sword and Shield, we've got... Hey, Jordan, we didn't talk about your Shield 1.2 record. Okay, so the reason why... How did I that did... go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, everything... I got, everything that I got was slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the Arcanine was slower than Elder Goss, which is... Is that the slowest thing, or one of the slowest things that you kind of, like, face... Compa like comparatively yeah. at level wise, yep. Yeah, it was slower than that, which is that's not. It wasn't even the first Arcanine that I had that was slower than it, which is so it's. But yeah, but I managed to get through. It was very like outside of just having things that were slow. It was a very good run because like again, the Arcanine I think it was positive special attack. The Drillbo, okay. oh like the Drillbo was positive attack. So at least it was powerful. It was just very slow. But. I think that it would have been fourth the two balls were put together. That's why I didn't put it in the thing. Okay. But yeah. Uh, um, I'll let you go, Edgar. Yeah, I was just going to... Going back up to the, the sword. A lot of these, like, you know, the, the record for sword right now is a 408 and the record for shields a 410. So a lot of the, the placements here are more people just sort of filling out the leaderboards than... Um, you know, than necessarily getting amazing times, but even you know, four nineteen for flip, it's there is pretty good. Um, yeah. four fourteen, I think four fourteen in shield was the record before yours. Yeah, it was. So, um, and then yeah. four nineteen in sword, uh, Japanese as well. Yeah, for Yoshida Shu. Yeah, I should say for for whom's time that is actually that is a very solid time if if you take yeah. into account the time difference, it'd be like a low four oh seven, which I think that would be that'd be I, don't, I, I think it'd be four. Yeah, I don't I I don't remember. I think Retro had a four oh eight. Yeah, so yeah, it, it'd be fourth on the leaderboard. So like that is a very solid time, like. Uh oh, I think there's a, actually may as well have a quick nosy, but I think there's a fair gap between whom's time and uh, second place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a fairly sizable chunk. Maybe, maybe 
over the next month some people might come in to fill those times a bit more with uh, the 1.2 patch. Uh, I always point out Coralio's time, but that was from the last podcast, and it was mentioned during the last podcast as well. I guess it just hadn't been verified. Right. Uh, Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, Flood of E, any percent no one to mail English with a 303 flat. Get in there. Get in there. So, congrats on the third place, though, very solid time. And then Snap. This is every one, every <laughs> board, like every submitted run for Snap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but so, I guess, like, the main thing, like, when I did the interview with uh, CC, I think when I first asked Martin's, uh, like, the second place time was the world record, and then Gunlap kind of came in just before that. So it was good. Like, it was fresh enough to talk about. I'm glad that it happened just before the, uh, before that, uh, the talk that we had. It would have made it instantly outdated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, very... I, I mean, again, like, I don't know how good these times are with it being a new run, and, like, where they'll eventually sit for people who aren't coming back, like, apparently Quo is not coming back. So I don't know where they'll, like, settle towards after, like, a few months. Right. But... Yeah, Quo with a 23902. Uh, T.I. Uh, Kevin, as well, who's been in chat, with a 24832. I don't think there's any other... Oh, CC never ended with a 23745. Well, and then Ib, uh, Ib999, who was mentioned uh that interview, with a 23557 in third place. I think that was... I think Ib's was also a world record at one point. Uh, before yeah, it would have been for a couple of days before Martin's. And yeah. Oh, also got Pwn Noob with the old Pokemon. It's the only run on the ball, but at 352.22. That's quicker than I would expect, to be fair. The old Pokemon. I, I get, like, I figured that it would probably, like, compared to, like, an 8% run getting all the Pokemon, you'd think it would be a longer run. Mm-hmm. Array has been going. Heavy in the red, blue, yellow category ascensions. I don't think at this point. Actually, oh wait, no, there is a few past the category ascensions. Gimme's also had a very good run. With what game? I got Soul Silver. Okay. Uh. And then Edhead, Minute Plus for Black White, uh, with a 342.44. Pretty solid time. Wham, blam, shazam. Apparently. Uh, trade all main on Maldo. That's. Pokemon. Oh, uh, um, what have has a channel point retention thing. That's probably why, but that's definitely a Pokemon you wouldn't normally see. That's quite cool. I hmm. uh, got Kirby's with the Pokemon League rematch for Let's Go. Which. What, what category is that again? Like, what do you actually do in that? <laughs> It's basically Elite Four Round Two. There's no requirement for Elite Four Round Two. You can just go fight it. But one one thing that Let's Go has is gym leader rematches. So you basically beat the game, do the gym leader rematches, and then beat the Elite Four again. And okay. all of I think all of the gym leaders are in the high fifties to low sixties for levels, and the and the uh, Elite Four is all in the seventies. So it's you know, considering there's no actual plot for post game, it's a it's a hefty level jump. <laughs> uh, also, like apparently a high three hundred six any percent time, which is very solid. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, also, Kerbis with Ditch Bill thirty three thirty two, and then Emoots actually with a thirty three fifty seven. That's a fairly new runner, I believe. Just, like I don't know if they've, I don't think they've done any percent. I think they I think they've just stuck to I think it's Dish Bill and the true co op that they've done. That's their two runs. But like their name of team popping up in the Switch Discord. Mm-hmm. Uh fourth gen gamer with complete post game five sixteen thirty two. That happened last month. Why is every <laughs> everything seems to be last month? That I point out. Uh the, uh 
if in the Dynax Adventure one. I see that date. But I think this is like a new category that got added, I guess, three, uh, two days ago. Dynamax Adventure 3 player with uh, Greta Ice Vixen, uh, Greta Ice Vixen, Etchy, and Kovimei. The 944. So. I think that's I think that's the only run. Also, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've I've just noticed how they put the world records. Oh, actually, they are they are separate, but there's no space in between. Oh, okay. I just noticed that now though. Uh. Pokemon train card game carry ascensions. The Jefferman Five with a Squirtle and friends world record with uh, fifty-five thirty-nine. And. Is a poker clicker? I guess that makes sense that there'd be poker clicker as a thing, but I was never aware of this. But Traffa, uh YT with a one twenty five point four six, putting them in second. The top. Uh, yeah, that's Tato a weird. That's a that's a weird little game in the in the fan games. We don't. Yeah. Uh, they have yeah. their own little thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, tutorial clickless in poker clicker. I never understood that... clickless, clickless and poker clicker. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> seems like an oxymoron. I think oxymoron is the right word, but yeah, thirteen thirty six point nine nine in second place by SGN eleven. Uh, this is obviously wrong, but for Rumble Weekend edition, is that that's a that should be a ROM hack of Rumble. Yeah, I'm just thinking, is this just RDA, or it might, it might be just uh, RDA? There's, been a, there's a few others that have done it. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I just I just see, RDA, I just see like, I think Rumble, I think RDA and, is it Akiri? Who's like a Welsh runner? I believe, I believe he's a, the, I think he's, I, or I believe Akiri's a runner, actually has the most world records for category extensions. I remember correctly. That's just something that I'm very yeah. nosy about, though. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Pokemon Gold Silver Night Seven Reforged, as mentioned earlier, and then there is Pokemon Tournament All Leagues, apparently miscellaneous category, but Super Saiyan Soul uh, Seven with a nine forty nine twenty one, which they regret doing it. Makes That's sense to me. Yeah, and that's the leaderboard roundup for this month. Just a last few things to mention. Uh, I guess if I you want to talk about Fire Red Leaf Green Tournament, and congratulations. Yeah, so, yep, so the, the Fire Red Leaf Green Tournament concluded today. Uh, the, the final was at 12 Eastern, and uh, it was against was Kurt, Pickle Plop, and Pinkish Princess. And Pick, or Kurt won, uh, Pickle second, Pinkish third. A uh, very successful tournament. Um, a lot of people ended up getting PBs, as we mentioned, uh, just by prepping for this. Uh, and uh, there was also a, a donation uh, to, uh, for every Mega Kick miss over across the entire tournament. Um, several of us, myself included, are donating 25 cents to the uh, prize pool, as well as 25 cents to charity and I don't recall how many kick misses there were, but I think each of us are donating sixty-five, sixty-six dollars uh, to each of the prize pool and charity. So a lot of mega kick misses. If yeah, you do the math. Is, yeah, that's how is this so many? <laughs> I mean, I guess there was a lot of bases, it's, it's, but still, it's not mega kick is not seventy-five percent accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Seventy-five percent chance yeah. to miss. The sounds of it. There's seven percent chance to hit, but it's probably the other way around. <laughs> yeah, two, two. I think the top. I think the the oh. most in one race was I think eleven, and why one person? Oh, uh, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, yeah, anywhere from zero to eleven we saw in the tournament. I'm kind of more impressed about the race. zero. To be fair. <laughs> Like, I actually got I got I got zero kick misses in one of my races, but I did a I did a I think I did a um a route which use uses mega kick less. Our variant of the route. 
yeah, but still, I still we got pretty lucky. Yeah, and there's 261 plus however many there were in the finals. Yeah, so probably around 270 at most. Thanks, Kurt, for pulling that up. Yeah, I mentioned this a bit earlier, but again, there's a currently forty dollar prize for whoever has world record by the end of the month, or I believe it's just the English metronome should stay that. I don't. I assume there's not anything for the Japanese one. There might be. I don't know. If if you go into the Coliseum or XD Discord, probably something there about that. So yeah, forty dollar prize for getting the world record. Just need to beat one minute and two seconds. That's all. How hard can that be? Probably ridiculously hard at this point, but who knows? And then. Okay, I guess if you want to talk about this a bit. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a little project that we've been putting together. Um, this is the Barrier Blitz for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, so one of the things that um, we wanted to do was some sort of Let's Go event. We have a lot of active Let's Go runners. Um, and something something along the lines of like a tournament or races didn't really make sense um, because, you know, when you're racing a game that's non manipped it's... You know, sometimes it's the winner is the one who got the better Pokemon, uh, better starter, things like that. So um, the idea here is to do sort of a break the record style event where we have uh, two 12 hour days uh, and the eight of us, uh, you can see the participants there at the bottom are going to be essentially trying to break the record. Um, we have a lot of runners who are really close. I think the record right now is a 30208. And we have five people with a 302 and a few more with a 303. So um, really any of these rudders can break can you know break those the record, uh, get the 301, maybe even lower. Um, and it should be a really cool event. It should be happening here on this channel. And um, it will be actually two weeks from today is the first day. So it's gonna be a Saturday, Sunday, 19th and 20th of June. Yeah, and as people have noticed, the prize pool is like massively short and much higher than we thought. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, like, because I put in like the 500 as like a base, and it's like, yeah, that's a fair amount. And then, like, by the C putting 50 dollars, like, great, this is good. good. And then Schultz uh, put in like a thousand, <laughs> which is mad. But, like, fully, like, fully appreciate what both by the C and Schultz have done. Uh, for contributing to this. Contributions are still open. They may as well throw it out. I may as well push it more. Wanna, um, like... Yeah, and the and the other the other thing that's still open is um, if anybody does want to help out with like commentary or anything, um, there is a, a Google form there. Uh, you can reach out to, to pretty much anybody and we can get that squared away if you know something about Let's Go or if you want to learn about Let's Go. Um, should be a really good yeah. time. Uh, I will actually say the Google form at this point is closed. But okay. If you can, like, anyone can message me at this point. If you, if you like, if you've just first heard about this and you're interested in commentary or with tech, I would appreciate help with tech <laughs> <laughs> before I end up dragging people into it. But yeah, this is a uh, something we've been working on. When did we start? I like maybe coming to like two months ago, we started talking about this. A couple months ago, yeah. Yeah, and it's hopefully going to be. Hopefully, it's going to have less issues than this podcast has had today. That's all I can really hope for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and the other thing that we wanted to try to do with this, um, is, uh, we're we're doing this with Let's Go right now, but there's really no reason it has to stop at Let's Go. Um, if there are other games in the future that want to do a similar kind of event, um, we're trying to use this this Twitch channel a lot more, uh, Pokemon Speedruns TV Twitch channel for more community based events. We've done things with the the Red Tournament, the Fire Red Leaf Green Tournament, obviously the podcast and the marathon, but trying to come up with more generalized content to do on the channel and get the whole community sort of involved with that. So um I would I'd be surprised if this is the last you see a uh, event like this for Pokemon speedrunning. You also point out five mon. Uh the actual racing set like for the races, that was like an invitation only. It was like from the top races. 
but anyone can join for the commentary uh, commentary or for helping out in general i should clarify that <laughs> uh there's that uh, like because like we've got like all these well most of these races uh either races will be on the stream at the same time eight eight screens on the, the stream at the same time is and also so does <laughs> one person win all that money no okay no. so <laughs> no uh it would be that would be very hard. Oh, it'd be great for the person that wins. Uh, but no, there is a. <laughs> you know, a... fifteen hundred. You know, it's not a small amount of money. You no, know, it's not at all. <laughs> uh, but no, there is a. It's, it's oh, it, yeah, like yeah. there's a split out between all the all the races are going to get some prize amount. Uh, at least seventy seven point uh, seventy seven dollars fifty, uh, US. It's not bad for <laughs> the eighth place. Yeah. At all. Uh, I should also say. Uh, Kept it out of this price pool because there's not a way to, um, at least from what I can find, there isn't a way to do like conditional payments or payouts. But if someone does break the world record, there's um, there's a one hundred dollar, uh, like one hundred dollar bonus for whoever breaks both, like for, one for Eevee and one for Pika. Because I think currently right now it's there's four people as it's standing right now. Four people are going to be doing Eevee. Four people are going to be doing Pika. So, if either one of those records are broken, pretty huge, man. Yeah, but uh, again, much bigger than I expected. <laughs> Which is great, though. It's great. I really do appreciate uh, spicy in the chat as well with the uh, with that fifty dollars and then shorts with the one thousand. Uh, I think. Is there anything else, at least with Barry Blitz? Because there is one other last thing to briefly. Just briefly tease, I guess. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything else with Barrier Blitz. Just a reminder, it's going to be in two weeks uh, right here on this Twitch channel. So if you guys want to check that out. Um, and as you can see, it's two 12-hour days. So you're if you tune in at any time during the day, you're probably going to see people doing runs. So um, you oh, don't have I... to worry about getting there for the start or anything like that. Yeah, it'll be start... Like, the racing... Like, the races will be starting at... 11 a.m. East Eastern time. Yep. And yeah, it's gonna be long. Um, it's like 4 a.m. my time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> great, great for all the American races. Um. And yeah. yeah, and then uh, the only other thing to mention, I guess, for the podcast, um, unless anyone else has anything, is um, we don't have anything yet, but very soon. Um, if you do want to help out with, we normally do like a Pokemon speedrunning marathon, um, at the end of summer, uh, traditionally in August. Um, but if you do want to help out with, uh, organizing things like scheduling, um, tech related things, uh, stuff to that nature, uh, be on the lookout in your respective PSR discords. Um, we will likely be posting some sort of a, uh, volunteer sign up forum um if you if you do want to help out with that um we're looking around the same time frame most likely uh end of august maybe you know early september at the latest but um yeah we should be getting that out really really soon so be on the lookout yeah so that's everything in terms of uh all the information uh super me thank you for coming on do appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, and, guys. And then also thank you to uh, CC uh, Neverender for talking about Snap. I like the new Snap and a bit of old Snap as well that was mentioned. And yeah, thank you everyone for all well, as well for well, thank you Skoa who's now not here but has, who had to leave for being busy. Being busy. Thank you Ian and Ezekiel though for I. Posting as usual. <laughs> and Ooh. yeah, at this point, uh, have a good rest of your day or evening. And hopefully, there'll be a lot, a lot less technical issues this time. Goodbye. <laughs> That's the hope. Bye, everybody. <laughs>